let's create water droplets for our soda can. This is our already made soda can. First of all, we have to model different shapes of water droplets in Blender. Let's split the viewport into two parts. Let's add a cube. Scale down. Control A to apply. Press dot key to zoom. Go to modify properties and add a subdivision surface. Apply level of 2. Now go to edit mode. Add a loop cut. Press 3 for face selection mode. Select the top surface. Press G to grab. Press Z to scale down. Press 7 to view from top. Now this is our first water droplet model. Go to object mode. Select this and grab and put it aside. Control A to apply the scale. Now make a duplicate of this by pressing shift T. Go to edit mode by pressing tab and Selecting the edit mode, turn on wireframe mode, provide two loop cuts vertically and horizontally. Press 1 for vertex selection mode. Select solid preview. Pull this up. Select this and pull this down. Go to object mode. Again make, make a copy of this. Go to edit mode. Turn wireframe mode. Apply two loop cuts.
make another duplicate of this go to edit mode add a loop cut Go to object mode. Here we have modeled four different shapes of water droplets. Select all, set it smooth, increase the subdivision surface by pressing Ctrl 3. You can also increase the render to 3. Turn off wireframe mode. Go to material preview and let's add us a glass properties for our 3D model. Let's select this one. Go to material properties. Select new. Give a name of water shader. Turn this principal BSDF to glass BSDF. Reduce the roughness to zero. IOR to 1.33. Now copy this material to all of the water droplets. You can directly select the previously made shader. Here is the water shader. Select this. Click new. Select the water shader. Click new. Here is a full sample of water droplets. Now let's apply these water droplets to our soda can. For this we have to select the soda can. First of all we have to create a wet paint map so that we can define the areas where our water droplets will appear. So go to white paint mode. And go to object data properties. And click plus in vertex groups. So we are creating our new group, rename it as water group, now let's select the add brush and paint over the area where we want our water droplets to appear. We will not paint below this soda can because we don't want to appear water droplets below the below it.
we will also paint on top. Our painting work is done. Now go to object mode. To add these droplets to our soda can, we will go, go to particle system. Select particle properties click plus and select hair give a hair length of 0 0.1 go to render select collection and under instance collection select water drops collection you cannot see the water droplets here because the scale is very small. Increase the scale. Let's put to scale randomness to 1. You can see more easily in solid display. Now we have to fix the rotation of water droplets click object rotation to modify the rotation of water particles here our water droplets are appearing everywhere to apply only to the areas where we have white painted go to vertex groups click on density and select the water group so that water droplets will appear only on those areas where wet paint is applied to red. Let's correct our origin point of these water droplets. First select the water droplets. Press 1 to see from front. Our origin point is very high from the geometry so we have to place the origin below the water droplets to do that we will click this in option and click on origins and press G and Z to move it below the water droplets. Now we have to rotate these water droplets let's exit from the origin selection select all rotate Y axis go to rendered view now you can see water droplets are appearing in our models so I can you can increase the seed number Here you can see you can also reduce the number count to 500 if water droplets are appearing in the edges 
you can go to white paint mode and subtract the areas We don't want to appear water droplets in edges. Now go to object mode. In this way, you can apply water droplets. To any surface I hope you like the video if you like the video like and subscribe I will see you in the next video